What is up guys, Patterson and the Aunt, today's FIFA 18 video, I've done that like 10 times now, so what we're going to be doing today is we are on the web app and we are going to open our starter squad kind of packs and stuff like that, but just let's get straight into it and see what it says, I'll probably have to stop somewhere down the line to change the password and stuff like that, but that should be fine as we get started, choose your starter pack. Which we are going to go from, let's go from France. It's probably got the most likely good players in, so we'll go for France. And let's see. So we did get Zatli Remy. So a few decent players there for a starter squad, but I don't even know if that's my team yet. So swap with a high rated loan player. I don't know how we do that. So let's see what we're actually doing. Let's have a look at subs few players there, not really anything special. So I've never really been on this, so you can probably see by the top we just started. But I'm gonna clue what I'm doing and select a player to replace a high rated loan. I don't know what that mean means. I think it means this. Select click him. Soup soups. Let's see who we've got here. So we've got Kyle Walker. We're gonna pick Kyle Walker. This was he's a better player altogether. And then we'll put him there, continue, choose your home kit, we'll go for Spurs I guess, and let's go for Saudi Arabia, no keel, I don't know, let's go for Saudi Arabia, some decent kit, choose your club barge, this is a hard one but I'm going to go for more looks than anything else, so we'll go for Bron B, oh yeah, because it's got a wishing well in, so that's pretty much me only thinking on that one. So we'll pick that and we'll continue. FIFA 18 Club Complete. This shows your start at start to FIFA 18 Ultimate Team. Select start, enter the web app and enjoy your FIFA 18 journey. So let's start this stuff. So let's see, loyalty rewards. Times 1, foot 17 Team of the Week Home Kit. A weird kit, four players backs, two gold packs. So to be honest, I've playing FIFA for so long. The kind of home kit and away kit thing, everyone knows that's a sham anyway. Doesn't really make sense to me why they put that in the game, but it's just another thing for them to look like they're giving you, which they're actually not. But let's just open this stuff anyway. Login reward, we've got a thousand coins to start off with, that's quite nice. A thousand coins can get you off the ground on the start of FIFA 18, so since I'm starting this kind of late, I think I'm like 14 hours behind pretty much every other YouTuber right now, but we are just going to get straight into it, so let's continue, you can see top left there's the coins there, I don't know if you can go in full screen mode yet, I don't know if that's a thing, but you see here unassigned items, we'll click that to see what that is, it's the two kits and Let's just make them active. No, I'm actually not because they're just a waste of time. You wouldn't get any games with them kits, so let's see what we've got to do. We're going to the store and have a look at the packs. All players, all players. So what I'm going to do is open the all players first, see what we get, and if we don't get anything, it's fine. We can always trade up, and I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I'm just going to do my best to see. Oh, that's a nice card to start off with. 81 Ruddy. He's a decent card, I can't really see his stats right now, we've got Richie, Fernando. So these players for a starter team would be decent, but I'm not going to keep any of them probably. I'm going to stall them all in the club and see what happens later on, and see how good we get. But, let's go on to the next pack. I think, since, let's actually look, can you buy FIFA points on you? So why are the FIFA points if you can't buy them? You probably can buy them somewhere, it is a year, so... Let's open the next pack, hopefully it's someone good. That's a good pull there, 81 Sacco. He's a rare as well, so not so bad for FIFA at the start of the game. So we've got a few goals as well. For a starter team, probably not going to use any of them, but coins are coins, and a player that's worth 600 coins to quick sell is not bad at all. So let's store all them, let's go on to the next pack. It might seem like I'm rushing, but I'm just trying to get through to the kind of trade and stuff, so I know how all this kind of stuff goes. So we've got Jocelyn from Newcastle. Obviously, 
these players are probably going to go for either five, six hundred coins at the start. Just because that's how FIFA goes at the start, pretty much everyone's expensive, everyone's got a kind of place in the market and stuff like that. So when like a few weeks it'll settle down, but last year what I was doing, I was just keep selling the low rated players, buying them back, selling them. You can only quick buy them or buy them on a kind of a spin for 350 coins each. Like this guy, 77 Osati. I bet you could buy him for around 400 coins and quick sell him, not quick sell him, list him back up for a buy now of 5-600. So it's a little profit I know but if you've got enough coins to actually get you there in the first place you can make a lot of coins doing that. So let's have a look at these gold packs, probably not going to get anything out of them, but we'll have a look. So we've got Barriello, not a bad player but nothing really exciting apart from that sack or so far few contracts, a few stuff, but I don't think the point is really making to start a team yet. I made that mistake last year and it didn't really work out very well. So, let's have a look at the last pack, hopefully someone good. And De Guzman, who's a decent player on this game, I think he's got decent stats. But, as I was saying before, nothing really special about these cards, so... I'm going to store all in club and I'm going to have a look at the prices and the species and stuff like that. Let's get started. Two player pack untradeable. Let's see what this is. First exchange. I don't even know you could do these on here so we'll have a look what it is. What it is. Exchange your bronze player from your club for a bronze reward. Let's see if we've got a bronze player. How do you actually do this? I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. So let's search. I don't like this kind of mechanic by the way. So let's see him. I don't know who he is, but let's just see him. But I don't know if by let's swap player and see what I've got to do now. Go back. Exchange player you squad but luckily I squad. So this system's kinda of confusing at the start of the game. I don't really know what I'm doing. Since I'm trying to record and do everything at the same time, it's kind of confusing. What I would normally do is do everything, record it, and then actually record the voiceover. But now what I'm doing, I'm actually doing it live, so it's a little bit difficult to start off with. But we'll get there in the end, so it should be okay. And I'm just going to submit this. Now I'm going to try and get through these as fast as I can, so I can show them in the end videos. Exchange three players with 12 chemistry for a bronze pack. Let's have a look. Add player search. So now with the club, it's, there's not many players in the club to start with. So this would be rather easy or difficult, whichever one you think. So what I could do is go and buy a bronze player for 200 coins. I don't know how much chemistry I actually need. So what we're going to do is just add him. Click that. Add player, bronze, yes. Let's have a look, different player. Let's add him, and we're at A chemistry, so I think this should be enough in any way for a bronze player again. Go for the worst need, probably this guy, Rojas, and submit, is that enough? So what I really should do is keep the bronzes until the new SBC leagues come out, which I don't know if they actually are. So, you can tell by me being on the web app, not the early access on the Xbox, that I actually, I'm not going to play on Xbox any time within the year this time. I have sold me Xbox on, well, I haven't, I've, I've just left it pretty much. I've left it abandoned, but the kind of Xbox stuff just doesn't work for me. I was fine on the last Road to Glory, which was quite decent actually, but... I think the web app and the way this one's going to go down is a lot better, in my opinion, to start with. So let's have a look at this one. Exchange four players from your club, three different nationalities for a bronze player pack. So these are quite simple, but I don't know if you actually get anything from completing these. So let's add him. It doesn't matter any of these players pretty much. It's just like a substitute for coins. So not we out, we'll get rid of him. Let's have a look at this one. Maybe able to hear the clicking in the background. Another thing is, I haven't been pretty much doing any YouTube videos for a while, so I'm kind of kind of new to the whole thing again. So we'll see what we need 
minimum chemistry so French would be a good one we'll use him so that kind of links everything up and it's gonna submit it there and we'll see what we'll get here exchange four players from your club with a three different nationalities so a bronze player pack untradeable let's get started PlayStation 4 home kit and one two player untradeable so I don't really like the untradeable packs which is kind of annoying and the coin balance doesn't look so happy but we've got a lot of these Liga MX so I think it's good to add these SBCs here for the kind of players who want to trade but I think it was last year I got Santi Carford landing my first pack which pretty much gives us the first 5k coins to trade with but since this is new FIFA and they pretty much give us nobody apart from Sako, who is terrible. But let's have a look. See this pack. Where is it? Uh, unassigned PlayStation. I don't know what that is. It's a PlayStation home kit. So where's my pack then? Open your claim your pack. Open claim your pack. Let's open these bronze things. They'll be good for just random cards to keep in your club. Maybe for SBCs down the line, but these kind of things don't really go for anything. Let's just open these. But the untradeable players, they'll probably give out more during this time since the start of the game. They normally like to give players someone to kind of focus the team around. So we'll see what that actually is. Is this a contracts pack? Nope. I don't know what this is. That was, that's terrible, that's for what it actually is. One rare. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Pellegrini. Not that bad for untradeable, but for to get actually silver card in that that's not very good at all so let me actually have a look here see what's on the transfer market so let's get a drink here sorry about that i'll just edit it out so let's go to i don't think we we'll have enough yet to start the process i want to start so what i am going to do is just try and keep it simple so I'll show you just the initial part of what I used to do because I know every time they did it they used to sell. And this is from FIFA 17 at the start when I was trying to make loads of coins. So since you're pretty much just relying on yourself here to make yourself the coins, there's not for champions, there's not anything. You want to find kind of this part really difficult for you and it's kind of difficult to start off with no coins pretty much like we are so the thing is that people don't get i've got all them players in the club which would probably make me probably 3 4k all of them together it depends how stable the market is by now since i don't know we'll have a look in the premier league to start with premier league gold look and now we'll go to the bid price of 400 coins one gold still i'll see if there's any players here that are actually on bid so we'll have a bid of Jonathan Walters, 350. So you can tell by the actual rating where how much they go for. But you can see this Munya in here. But what I'm gonna do first is I'm actually going to check my club out and just have a look, see the players and how much they go for for quick sell value. So we're looking for a 75 in Hosley with quick sells of 300. But then what we're going to do is have a look on the market and see how much he actually sells for on a buy now. How do you spell his name? This is embarrassing, isn't it? Possibly. We'll actually just go to the club. Newcastle and nationality of Spain. I want to just take the number in. So let's see if he actually goes for what I think he'll go for. Let's have a look. See if he's got a buy now. So he does have a buy now of 500. So. <coughs> Sorry about that again. But what we're going to do now is have a look. You just keep going down the spectrum to see how much he goes for. So at the start off, he made like 50 coins, something like that at the start. But it seems like there's already people who. 500 there for 450. Three minutes left. So there's obviously ones for 400. My dad has pressed the back button. Wrong thing to do. So let's have a look. Say 350. If this is like that's bid price, isn't it? Wrong thing. 
people are probably shouting at us now. Let's have a look. So no 4 three fifty. Let's have a look at 450. I think I've already searched that. Right, so there's ones on 450, which is fine. But for someone like Charlie Austin or someone with a higher rating by a few like levels pretty much. Them players are going to be really cheap. Well, not really cheap, but they're going to be more expensive than this one. Say 400 coins. So maybe what you could do is get one on a buy now for 350 if you keep searching, keep searching, keep searching. But really what you want to try and do is get one for 300 if you can. And then you can just resell them for 400 if you want to, but that doesn't really seem effective. So what I'm going to do is just go on the market a little bit and just have a look what's actually going on. And let's have a look. So we're going to go for gold because there's no point really with the other cards as the it's so far on in the life cycle of the web actually it's been on for 14, 16 hours so far so the kind of easy trading tips at the start don't really kind of make sense now if that, that doesn't really make sense but they don't really pan out as good as they would 14 hours ago if that makes sense when there was loads of hype around stuff. So I'm going to take the strike apart off and we're just going to search. So normally players like this, Yoshida, since he's in the Premier League, he's going for 400 coins or a player like that is not bad, but what you want to actually look for is players that are above 75 overall for a cheap price. So someone who actually got good pace and a centre back and decent for 400 coins, that's what you pretty much want. But let's just have a look, yeah. Manquilo. Destro Alvaro. So actually what I'm going to do here is just have a look and pretty much just see what happens. So what I'd normally do is to severe the market through FIFA 17. What I did is just put loads of players that look interesting, look like a good overall, look like a good price and just put them on your watch list. Because that's the way you can gauge the price between hours to hours. So that's what I used to do. But obviously I haven't traded in ages since the FIFA, C FIFA 17 start. Since I play for champions, there's not really any point of trading. I find it boring to start with, especially on the web app. But through the next few days, I am going to try and start trading a lot harder and try and get the little things out of the way. So I'm going to have a look at my club now and then we're going to finish the video. It's already 17 minutes long and I want to get this out there just so my first FIFA 18 video. So we'll have a little club before we start. I was supposed to be doing a FIFA 17 video, but I forgot to do it. So let's have a look at the gains in this episode. We did get the Afri Sacco, which isn't a bad player, but I don't know how much he goes so. But throughout the next, from this episode to the next one, I'll probably be doing a lot of trading off camera just to see how well it goes and to see what's really happening. So. I'll have a look at a few players, Kyle Walker on loan, that's a big one for me, especially at right back with 9 games. So that'll be useful in the future, especially if we go down the Premier League route. Which I haven't talked about the team I'm going to use yet, but I haven't decided. And I pretty much haven't really done anything with FIFA 18 yet, so... A lot of these players are worth a lot of coins, if you can sell them all, I don't know if you can. But these ones here can quick sell for 300. So if you think about there's probably like 5-6k that you sell. So the whole point is, throughout the next day, whatever it is, I'm going to be grinding the web app. I'm going to put up this video, I'm going to prepare for the next video. Try to get as much done in a shorter time as possible. So I can get my next video out and show the progress and stuff like that. So, let's have a look at one last thing. We'll look at the squad here. So I want to show you this just because it's the first video. We'll look at the first squad here, we say it's not very good. So what I want to do is show you this squad and I want to show you at the next video and see how it places together. So I don't think you can actually sell these players. No, this item cannot be traded. Which is a good thing really for players like Leoc Remy and this guy. So what I should do is get stuff kind of organised for the players that can't sell and players that can sell. This is how well it does. So you can change formation, I can rename. So I'm going to rename it to... Let's just... I'm actually not going to rename it until the next episode. 
So we're going to cancel that. I'm going to rename it next episode. I'm going to change the team all together. So I've been Patterson. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like rating and comment down below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.